Hello, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and today I'm going to show you the amazing power of the Replace Face command. Um, in this model here, we have a couple <coughs> curved um, bodies that kind of intersect at a point, and uh, well, we want to make this kind of a, a smooth transition between this face here and this face here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, See, we could just do a sketch and shear or trim this off with a sheet, but that would take a lot of extra work. So, um, NX has this uh, wonderful command in the synchronous modeling section um, called replace face. And I can click replace face, and the face I want to replace is this one. And I want to use this curved surface here as our new face. So, I'll select this, and as you can see, NX trims it for us along the um, vector of this curved surface. And we'll just hit OK. And as you can see, it cut it very nicely. And <coughs> sometimes you may have so the sides here may come off a little strange when you're doing little corners like this. So you can actually run it again. Um, replace face. And I want to replace this one here with this one. And as you can see, it did the work for us and pulled it together very nicely. And then you could just do a unite and you have a nice little corner there between these two bodies. Um, another interesting trick, and I'll have another model open here, is, uh, see so you have this, um, like a canister looking model here. And we want to make this surface on the top kind of rounded. Um, just for, you know, elegance and, you know, coolness. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just make a little sketch. And we're going to use our, we're just going to make an arc. And we'll say right about here to here. And we'll just bow it out like about that. We'll finish. And then we're just going to extrude it. We'll make a sheet body going across the model like this, about like that. There we are. So now we have a sheet going across. So what we can do is we can actually use replace face using a sheet body. And we want this face, and we want to replace it with this one. And we hit OK, and as you can see, it conformed to the shape of that. Now. We're, the inside, you'll notice, is still flat, so what you can do is you can actually run it again with an offset, um, replace face, and we want to replace this one with this one, and we want to give it like a little bit of an offset, so that way it's it's not too thin um, in there. Just hit OK, and let's go ahead and hide this sheet and hide this sketch and you can see the inside is curved and the outside is curved with this nice wonderful looking curvature on this box and this is a really quick way to get a nice design on your model without a whole lot of effort thank you this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries and to see more videos like this please log on to annextutorials.com thank you